when Christoph passed, it was, um, you know, I relapsed. I had 30 years of sobriety. Oh, my God. And I relapsed. And um, I felt like I just wanted to go, too. Mm -hmm. You know, I wanted to be with sure. him. And because here you have, you know, the two loves of my life are now gone. And that's all I felt was I just I just want to be with them. Um, so I don't think people really understood, like, they would be like, well, you still have your daughter. and But at the moment and at the time, you're not thinking that. You're just like, I'm in so much pain. I just got to get out. I just got to get out of this pain however I can. And for me, it was the bottle was what I knew. Mm, yeah. And and that's what I did. But that's temporary, that's self-medicating, right? It's temporary. That's why you wake up the next morning and you do it all over again. Yeah. You know, it's a cycle. And that's what happened to Christoph was he just got caught up in that cycle. Yeah, yeah. And couldn't get himself out. Um, but I truly believe that when he told me that Julian was there, I really believe he was. My son was there and my son did come to save him. I believe it. To take him from his pain. Yeah. Because people say, well, he was, you know, because he was, he had a 3.4 alcohol level when he passed. Yeah. Um, so they said, well, he was probably hallucinating. And I said, no, he, my son was there. And my son took him. Which is a, it, it's, it's a it's kind of a beautiful thing, but a sad mm -hmm. thing at the same time, mm -hmm. right? Mm 